Now we'll discuss the meaning of tajweed, the definition of tajweed, and what is the ruling of tajweed. So two aspects, inshallah, we'll cover today. One is the meaning of tajweed and the ruling of tajweed. Tajweed literally means proficiency or to do something well. It comes from the root word jawwada yujawwidu and it means proficiency or to do something well. You know someone, if he does something good, we say jayyid. Okay, in the same manner we say tajweed. So what exactly is tajweed? Tajweed means when you recite the Quran, you apply all the rules and regulations and all the characteristics which is related to it. Now what is makharij? Makharij is something similar but there is a difference. What is makharij? Makharij, you, uh, as you know, those who have visited the Arab countries, you know in malls if you enter, you will find a place like makharij. It is written makharij. It means a place of exit. So makharij or makharij literally means a place of exit. What is the meaning? What is the applied meaning of makharij? Makharij means that when you recite the Quran, you should know the articulation point of each and every letter. Each and every letter has its articulation point. And the makharij is the pronunciation. So to have that knowledge is called makharij. Like for example, there is a letter called Dad. So uh, the articulation uh, point of the letter Dad and Wa, Zal, Za. See, these letters are quite similar. But they have different articulation points. Dad, Za, Wa, Zal. So this knowledge is called Maharaj. The second topic which, which we will discuss today is what is the ruling of Tajweed? Now let us discuss before going into the ruling the mistakes in Tajweed can be broadly classified into two categories. One is the Lahn al-Jali and the other one is Lahn al-Khafi. Lahn al-Jali is a clear mistake. And lahn al-khafi is the hidden mistake. What do you mean by uh, lahn al-jali? Clear mistake. What is the clear mistake? For example, there is a word and you change that particular word. This comes under lahn al-jali. This is like a clear mistake. Another example, for example, there is the word lam. You change it to meme. You make a mistake in the letter. You substitute that letter with another letter. Okay, this is a called lahn al-jali. This is a clear mistake. Okay? okay, so if uh, I have to give an example, Saad can be converted into Sa. This comes under Lahn al Jali. Okay, Fatha converted into Dhamma, or you call it Zabar converted into Pesh. Kasra converted into Dhamma. So this kind of mistake is called Lahn al Jali. And the other kind of mistake is called Lahn al Khafi. What is Lahn al Khafi? Lahn al Khafi is hidden mistake. Hidden mistake in the sense. Uh, a particular letter has to be stretched for, for example, six counts. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Was-Sama'i wa tariq So this sama you have to stretch for six counts. So for example, you stretched it for two counts, for example. This comes under lahn al-Khafi. So a proficient reciter who has good knowledge of tajweed and makharij will be able to identify the lahn al-Khafi. So the scholars say that the lahn al-Jali, the mistake, the ruling of that mistake is haram. It's prohibited. And if it, the mistake is done in Surah Al-Fatiha, the Salah is not valid. As with regards to Lahn Al-Khafi, there is a difference of opinion, but most of the scholars regard it, regard it as makruh, means it is disliked. So better we should avoid this.